What's up guys and welcome in part 6 of the Moroccan Empire. Today's episode is going to be the invasion of Deer Congo. Just keep watching this episode and you need to watch how we are going to destroy these Cameroonian forces coming to our homeland cities from all the sides and how we are going to launch the blitzkrieg attack on the capital Kinshasa of Deer Congo. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us on the Discord server. The link is in the description. So here guys, I'm going to split my uh, recon division here because I have three fronts. Uh, an infantry coming from the south, which, which is very close to my city of Marrakesh. Another one coming from the north, going to the city of Fez and one in the middle. So in this case, I need to split my armored division in three ways to be able to pull off all of these and destroy all of these infantry coming to my homeland cities. Also, my corvette there in front of my capital, uh, Rabat, is doing an amazing work stopping all of those Brazilian and Cameroonian forces. And here... At the same time, I am defending my capital and at the same time, I'm destroying my enemies' capitals as well as my uh, strongest um, uh, recon division going to the capital Kinshasa. This is the war in the capital Rabat. Uh, one infantry has split, has uh, slipped from my corvette there and it landed successfully on the capital. We saw that in the last uh, episode. So here I have that recon division and uh, I hope it will destroy that infantry of course my corvette has landed some damage to that infantry so it has it doesn't have a full hit point there so it's not going to be a hard task to destroy it but here the hard task is to contain this assault is to contain these uh, Cameroonian attacks from all the sides I don't want to lose no homeland city here because you know losing a homeland city is going to make me struggle with the resources production and you know here in this game with Morocco I'm already struggling with resources as we are we don't have a good supplies and components production this is why in day 10 I still don't have ships only one single corvette I know I don't need ships yet because my war is on land my huge battle is against the African nations so when I transfer this uh, war, let's say, to the United States or Europe or Asia, in that case, I'm going to need a strong navy. And of course, we are going to make one. But not before we succeed this and uh, we survive this assault. You see more and more naval radars coming to the way of our capital. So this attack is far from being over. We are still going to struggle in this battle. I'm rushing here my uh, recon division to uh, catch that infantry which is slipping away. He is running away with his uh, motorized infantry so I need to catch it up and destroy it. Here I'm sending five national guards to the front. My stack is going straight to the city of Kinshasa with seven level two recon vehicles and uh, two mobile on tier and one national guard in the behind line to stay alive, to stay away from the confrontations and just to take lands. That's the goal of the national guards in this game. Okay, good. The Cameroonian infantry which was going to the capital Rabat was destroyed. No, it's only a matter of time until I kill the other ones in the sea. They are unlucky enough to uh, to uh, meet my corvette there in the waters. Also, this one is destroyed also. So now I'm going to take a turn around and try to take as much lands here first to um, eliminate all of these uh, enemy provinces to be able to see who is coming for me. You see, when you have a lot of enemy provinces around you, a lot of red zones around you, you cannot expect where the next attack is coming from. That is a struggle. We are so close to the capital Kinshasa of Dear Congo. A reminder here, Dear Congo have and conquered the uh, half of the, the, the southern half of the African continent. So he have almost the half of the continent. So dear Congo, I'm 100% sure that he is a tough guy there, but I'm, I need to go to his capital, I need to destroy it. So my only solution here is to send that recon division to destroy that. Here I need to dive deep inside the African lands. I need to take as much provinces as possible, as I said, to first to take the war zone away from my homeland cities because now it is so close to my homeland cities which is a very bad thing in conflict of nations world war three when the battle is very close to your homeland cities the smart player the smartest players in this game they transfer the uh, the war zone and they transfer the battle to the 
enemy's uh, lands. You see here, he was almost close to get my capital but if I didn't have those defenses in the capital, he will easily take down my capital. He slipped, he slipped from the north. I literally could not keep it up, I could not catch it catch him so luckily he did not pass through the city of Fez he passed by uh, by the side of it his target the Cameroonian target was the capital Rabat but I knew that he will go there this is why I made uh, another two recon uh, vehicles there in the capital and sent one mobile on tier and one national guard to fortify my defenses in the capital because as I said in the part three I cannot afford losing my capital that will create a lot of problems during this series i am literally in war against all of africa and successfully we destroyed the capital of dear congo kinshasa and i took also the city of libreville and also the city of kabinda there and now i am going to proceed also i'm not going to stop i need to destroy his remaining homeland cities so i have these two amazing stacks here uh, in uh, congo and i'm going to send them to take down the remaining homeland cities such as uh, kisangani lubumbachi and uh, kananga I need to stop him from making more infantries and more lands there, so uh, the attack needs to be direct, needs to be fast, I don't need to lose any time here, I need to destroy my enemies and later on I will take my time and have my time to gather all of those concrete provinces, the rogue nations, everything. So this is one of my strategies in Conflict of Nations World War 3, whenever I am at war against a full coalition, I go directly to their homeland cities with heavy stacks, directly to their capitals destroy them and later on i take my time to clear to clean those provinces lands and get them for me and here the first time in my conflict of nations career i'm making taut artilleries i never played with taut artilleries before this is the first time i'm going to do it the assault on the homeland cities of uh, dear congo was successful i destroyed his cities but now you can see his sending some infantry, he uh, retrieving back his city, so I'm not going to let him do that. So I destroyed the first time those homeland cities, now I'm going to get back and keep roaming this place, keep roaming this place until I destroy his remaining infantry. You see how much it is hard uh, playing without air force in this no air force challenge, the series, the solo with Morocco, it was a no air force challenge. It is very hard to play without air force. Just imagine if I had some strikers here. I will kill all of those infantry without a problem. You see all of those infantry coming from all the sides. I will just send my strikers and destroy them to ashes one by one and the capital, the continent of Africa will be mine from day seven or eight maximum. You understand the difference? how to play without air force? It's very, very hard because sometimes one infantry one infantry going to your uh, to your homelands is going to create a huge problem. Now it's the time to start expanding. Now it's the time to start taking the lands, taking our bounties. This is what I am going to do now. I'm going to send all of my national guards to those provinces. I'm going to claim my lands and just wait guys until you see the empire of Morocco. Just wait until you see it, how big it will be all across the continent of Africa. Now we destroyed all of our enemies. It's only a matter of time until we clean these lands, cities and it's going to be an amazing empire it's going to be an amazing empire you saw guys that I start building the naval base level 3 in the city of Tangier I'm going to start the research of the destroyers soon and yep we need to make some destroyers to of course secure our coasts because uh, we can expect a European attack at any moment so we need to be prepared uh, after this African battle so we are at the end of the episode 6 in the Moroccan Empire. Meet you guys in episode 7 with more fun, more action. See you and bye bye.